Hi everyone, this is the Motorola Atmos 800 Rechargeable Weather Radio. I got this on an impulse buy. I went to Best Buy, not even looking for a radio, and I saw it in a totally different section of the store, this radio. And uh, what caught my eye about this radio is that it looks a lot like another radio from Kato. I'll show you it. The Kato KA338W. It's a radio that Totterbert reviewed before. And it looked very similar, especially in the numbering of the FM, NOAA, and AM dials. Looks a lot alike. And the button placements as well, and the speaker... Everything around it looks very similar. So I figured, why not give this radio a shot? I bought this radio for $29.99 plus tax at Best Buy. And I'm going to open it up. It's Here's the front of the box. And then the side has the model number MWR800. On the back of the radio... It has the features, AM, FM, no weather radio, charge via solar, hand crank, or DC in, 5 volt, micro USB port, built-in rechargeable battery, uses three AAA batteries, built-in flashlight, extendable antenna, DC out, 5 volt USB port for charging mobile devices. And on this side of the box, it just shows you what it does. Some of the options they have. I'm going to open this up. It has instructions. French on one side and then English on the other side. It's wrapped in bubble wrap. And here it is. Now, on the front, it has a one and three quarter inch speaker. It has a switch for rechargeable battery and AAA battery. It has FM, AM, no weather band switch here um, it has a uh, your slide here um, it has a red indicator right here charge power and tune light here it's charging because it's under the uh, light so it's a very sensitive uh, solar panel if you go to the top of the radio it has an off switch a light which shines pretty good. And then a charge switch where you can charge your devices. On this side, you have your light. You can charge it using a um, micro USB port to charge this radio, the uh, rechargeable battery, if you wish. And then your DC out. 5 volt to charge your devices, your mobile devices. I like the solar solar panel here. The antenna is about 15 actually almost 16 inches between 15 and a half and 16 inches. And then on this side you have a tuning wheel here. I'm going to tune it to the beginning. And then your on off switch. That also acts as a volume control. You have a wrist strap here. And on the back is where you store your three AAA batteries. A little hard to open and close, but that's fine. And then your hand crank. So what I'm going to do is uh, do a scan, turn this thing on. 
and go through the FM dial first. Controversial politics. Girl one, six one five. WPLJ FM and HD one, New York. A Cuba station. From the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Atlantic City Studios, high atop Madison Square Garden. Playing the hits from two K and today. Ninety five five PLJ. For a DSP receiver, it's very good on FM. I like it. It's very good on FM. This is one, probably the best DSP I've experienced as far as analog rails is concerned. So, so far, so good. I'm going to try to know a weather band now. Maybe it's just uh, the weather conditions, but um, although it's pretty clear, so I'm not sure why I'm not getting my no weather station, at least not KZZ31 from Harriston, New Jersey, which is 27 miles from here. So n weather radio, it's fair. Now, if KWO35 were to come back on here, 162.55, New York City... Oh, this will be coming in very well. But right now I'm stuck with this one channel, Channel 5, at least for now. So, no weather seems fair. I did listen to this early tonight. It was actually a little bit better before, and it was at a different spot. So maybe it's not a good spot for this NOAA weather station. But I digress. I'm going to try the AM now. Check if this is seven forty. No, that's not seven forty. Seventy seven W A B C. 
Oh, I'm sorry. This is 770. Oh, yeah. This is Zuma Radio. I went up the dial a little too fast. Uh, 740 is Z. Is CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, 330 miles. It's rather weak on this radio, but it's picking it up. If you see 1 800 848 I'm going to check this station. Yeah, that is A ten W G Y Schenectady I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Schenectady, New York, which is around Albany, one hundred and thirty six miles. So that is basically Pakistan is up. Listen. Don't listen to your own music. Watch them as they listen to it. And if they tap their toes, stay in the group. Yeah. That's A30 WEEU Reading, Pennsylvania, 99 miles, uh, 6,000 watts at night. Yeah. CJBC, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. 330 miles. Mostly cloudy and humid for Sunday night, low 73. So much. CHML, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, 337 miles. What the boss was. WLAT 910, New Brighton, Connecticut, 91 miles, 5,000 watts. And it didn't lock in. This is 930 WPAT Patterson. Nine fifty WKDN Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, eighty two miles. Your father ought to be able to help his son solve his problems. Well, don't you worry anymore. On nine seven seven five. Again, that's two one two two four. WBZ Boston, Massachusetts, one hundred ninety one miles. That's 1070, but uh, I don't know what that station is. But I checked it with my digital radio. It's 1070. WTIC, Hartford, Connecticut, 100 miles. That's 1080. Some phone calls was post right there on Twitter. And also, later on tonight, we're going to open up the phone lines for the second half of the show. Hey, remember that guy, Zach Avey, who ran the ball for 1,400 yards last year? I'm Jeff, who's playing so far today. He's got three of the big school touchdowns. Not compared to the other. 1090 WBAL Baltimore, 167 miles. 
vet bills for that convenience of just pulling open a bag of formulated, extruded, processed cereal bits that cost a ton of money anyway. How do you feed your dog to derive not only... 1100 WTAM Cleveland, Ohio, 394 miles. Cancer. I'm June Grosso, and this is Bloomberg. What's the best thinking? Eleven seventy WWVA Wheeling, West Virginia, three hundred forty nine miles. Clams even experience the complex human emotional state known as happiness. As an invertebrate mollusk living half submerged on the ocean floor, with no arms, legs, or wireless access, what's there to be happy about? A clams all like, oh, I'm so happy I didn't get turned into New England clam chowder today. 1180. WHAM, Rochester, New York, 238 miles. That's actually 1,200. Uh, earlier tonight, I got that station and... Uh, it was actually WXKX, no, WXKS, Talk 1200, Newton, Massachusetts, that's in the Boston area, 184 miles, so that could be the 1200 there. Just go to slash fan. WPHT, 1210 Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 82 miles. Where's work? Yeah, I don't know what that station is. Kill little kids. Huh? But people are like that. They they have Woman still she's at volume. Field. Springer's got it. 30. Steps out of bounds at the 34. Solid job that time by Jacob Springer, the sophomore out of Kansas City coach, because he didn't let it hit and keep. 1500 WFED, Washington, D.C., 204 miles. 459 to go here in the third. On science, linguistics, and relaxation. And the results are fantastic for anyone trying to quit smoking, lose weight, handle stress, or conquer fear. To see if hypnosis is right for you, call 874-9050. 874-9050. 1520 WWKB, Buffalo, New York, 280 miles. For he is our God. And Joshua. Now nah, it's still 1520. I thought I could get 1530. Oh, this is 1530. 1530 is WCKY. Cincinnati, Ohio, 561 miles. Said we are witnesses. Now, therefore, uh, that's my local travel information station on 16:30 a.m., which is WPYJ 70A, Clifton, New Jersey. Mm. 
Then that was uh, 1690 WPTX, Lexington Park, Maryland, 218 miles. And that is all for AM. Um, overall, um, I'd have to say reception-wise, this is the best I've seen out of a DSP analog radio for FM and AM. The no weather band, not bad. And it would be really great uh, if KWO35 in New York City were to come back on the air, but it hasn't. But overall, pretty good reception-wise. I also like the fact that it has a solar panel. You can charge your devices without having to just crank it, although you can crank it to charge it. Um, I like the wrist strap. It's not bad at all, but it's a little weird that it's on the right instead of left. Oh, well. Overall, it has um, nearly everything I want in a radio. I have to see how AM does during the daytime. Probably just mainly locals. But FM, um, it, it did well. Locals and semi-locals even stationed between. So um, I'd have to give this radio... I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Four stars. Like I said, the AM... Sometimes it may have a little trouble locking in at times, but it's still usable. It's very good for locals and strong stations. And FM's good as well. So, that's the rating I'm going to give. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, have a good weekend, everyone, and God bless. Bye-bye.